So Ian, um, tell us about Marinon Capital and, and the kinds of deals that you do there. Marinon Capital has been around since 2007. It was started by a group of us who had spun out uh, and formed a, a Marinon, which is a middle market private credit shop, again, based in Chicago. We're a team of 54 and uh, solely focused on middle market private credit. And that's primarily P sponsored backed, uh, but occasionally we'll, we'll back a management team and, and an independent sponsor. Talk, talk a little bit about your portfolio and um, how it's performing. Uh, we have over a hundred positions and, and we certainly have things on our watch list. Uh, overall though, the portfolio is in reasonably good shape and, and has, uh, you know, maintained uh, revenue levels, grown revenue, margins, et cetera. We have, you know, five or six uh, transactions on our, what we call our red watch list. And, uh, you know, those are taking up uh, the, the majority of our portfolio management's time. Talk about how uh, the recent rise in interest rates, growing prospects of recession is impacting the pace of deals that you're doing there this year? Uh, for Marinon, we're having a record year. Uh, this year will be uh, a record uh, across the last 15 years since we've been in existence. So it really hasn't impacted deal flow per se, um, but it certainly has impacted how we're looking at transactions, how we're structuring transactions, um, what, what kind of pricing uh, we're looking at. Let's start with the senior loan market. And there we're, we're definitely seeing spreads up 50 to 75 basis points, um, all due to the action of the Fed. Our cost of capital has, has gone up. Um, certain funding vehicles like CLOs are, remain challenging in terms of issuance. I think the, the shift in the marketplace has, has really been felt over the last, I'd say, three to six months. Uh, spreads are up, uh, leverage reads are down. Uh, we're spending much more time um, working on uh, looking at forward interest rates, uh, forward yield curve, and uh, the impact on um, covenant levels, cushions, et cetera. So it certainly has impacted uh, how we look at transactions. It hasn't significantly impacted our uh, appetite and our willingness to, to invest. Tell us what's something that you like that, that very few other people appreciate. I have uh, created a, a list over time of the things I want to teach my kids to do uh, or learn how to do. And, um, you know, some of those aren't aren't as well appreciated around the house as uh, as maybe, you know, other things. So it's things like, uh, you know, clean a fish, uh, safely light fireworks, um, score bowling and, and baseball. Uh, change a change a tire, drive a manual transmission, which we have and have successfully trained uh, five of the six kids on. Uh, the sixth is yet to come, uh, and and no new clutches. So very proud of that fact.